Good afternoon, and welcome to the 2024 APS Honors Music Concert. My name is Chris Monroy with the Arts Education Department, and today we will be hearing performances by the Honors Chorus, Honors Orchestra, and Honors Band. As you know, the students have been practicing in preparation for this afternoon's performances, and we are all looking forward to hearing them. Today is a very special afternoon, and I want to thank everyone in the audience, teachers, parents, extended family members who have supported these very talented students, brought them to the auditions in the fall, brought them to rehearsals, and encouraged them to practice and be a part of this special event. Thank you. Our first group for today will be the Honors Chorus under the direction of Mr. Christian Bannock and accompanied by Mr. Nadim Nader, performing their first piece, Sisi Ni Moya. Please welcome the APS Honors Chorus. My name is Vera, and I sing soprano in honors chorus. Our first song, Sisi Ni Moja, is composed by Jacob Navrud, a music teacher and compo po composer native to Kansas. In 2015, he was asked to compose a song for the Michigan State University Children's Chorus to celebrate unity and community through cultures. Navrud wanted to create an uplifting and hopeful song that combined Western and African musical elements with the modern popular vibe. The title, translating to We Are One in Swahili, reflects the song's powerful theme of unity and togetherness. Jacob Navrud's cross-cultural approach to composition so showcases his ability to create music that transcends cultural boundaries.
Lucy and I sing soprano in honors chorus. Where the Light Begins is a beautiful and inspiring song composed by Susan Labar with lyrics by Jan Richardson. Susan Labar is a Grammy nominated composer from Springfield, Missouri, and Jan Richardson is a best selling author, minister, and education consultant from Florida. The song captures the essence of hope and the power of new beginnings. Its melody is both soothing and uplifting, creating a sense of warmth and encouragement. The lyrics offer a poetic reflection on finding light and hope in the midst of challenges. Where the light begins serves as a reminder that even in difficult times, there's always a source of light and a chance for a fresh start.
Hi, my name is Leah. And my name is Jordan. We sing alto in the honors course. Dr. Andre Thomas is a professor at Florida State University, as well as a distinguished composer, conductor, and author. I Hear America Singing incorporates the words of American poet Walt Whiteman and the spiritual walk together children. Dr. Thomas conducted this song for the February 2012 President's Day Choral Festival concert at the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts. In his notes about the experience, he wrote, as we sang and played I Hear America Singing, I can feel not only the words of Walt Whitman and the slaves in that setting, but that I was clearly transforming the jingling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. Shakespeare's text from the play Much Ado About Nothing. With its lively rhythm and catchy tune, the song brings a fresh and engaging perspective to the classic literary work, making it accessible and enjoyable for middle school students exploring the world of music and literature. The message encourages women to be resilient in the face of love's challenges. In other words, girls should live life with a positive frame of mind and not to be hung up by the foolishness of boys. Sign no more, ladies. 
so sad this is the last song. I had like an incredible time with these young musicians behind me. It was, it was such a growth from the first night on Wednesday till, the la till last night. Um, they really acted like a high school group. They sound like a high school group. Um, and they've, they've done a fantastic job, so it's really been my pleasure. Um, I'd also like to thank ArtSed for um, organizing and supporting us through the event. Um, Mr. Nader, who is not only the accompanist, but my like, co-director, practically. Um, he would jump in any time he heard something, and um, the kids love him, right? Yeah. yeah. And I'm so fortunate to have such a great group of colleagues in all the middle schools and high schools as well. Um, all the middle school teachers prepared them. The high school teachers um, gave their time to come to the rehearsals and help them out. And um, this was the first year I actually asked them to, I said, can you direct? Because I just want to listen and enjoy it. I don't get that that often because I'm like in charge, which is not my favorite place to be. But, you know, that's what we do. So. Um, I'm very fortunate to have all those uh, wonderful colleagues, and I'd also like to thank all the families of the chorus, orchestra, and band. I know how difficult it is to get your students here several nights a week to travel in Arlington at 5.30 on the weeknights, usually with other siblings and tell. So thank you so much for your dedication so that we could do this. Hello, my name is Jocelyn, and I sing alto and honors chorus. Our final song, Does the World Say, by Kyle Peterson, questions the impact of external influences on our well-being and how the world around us can affect our mental health. The lyrics encourage young people to question, explore, and think about the influences that shape our views and beliefs. The song covers a relevant and relatable talk topic for navigating the complexities of life during our middle school years. Does the world say that you don't look the right way? Does the world say that you're just not enough? Does the world say that you're not in the right spot? When it wants you there but not here and tells you all the things you are not. Oh. 
please join me in welcoming the APS Honors Orchestra.
Hopefully, oh, perfect, it works. I'm Miss Wallace, and I have had the absolute privilege of working with these wonderful orchestra students all week. And wow, 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 what a, what a treat. And hopefully you can hear it too, yeah. Oh my gosh, these kids are amazing. I just wanted to take a quick second to thank the people that make this possible. It looks like I'm doing all the work up here. Actually, I'm not doing any work at all. They are doing all the work. But it's really the orchestra teachers that have worked so hard with these students all year. And I want to give a huge round of applause to our wonderful Arlington orchestra teachers. Thank you. <laughs> and
And this would not be possible without support from our arts education office. They are wonderful. Um, and parents for driving late this week and hoofing it. I really bring, yes, give a round of applause for parents. Thank you so much. And I don't think, I think this is maybe the first time some of these kids have had a three hour rehearsal. That is hard to do. And they've really put in the effort and they've just been focused and diligent and professional and it has been truly a treat. Let's give it up for these students. They're amazing. Thank you. There's a few guest musicians on stage that I have to introduce. One I stole from the band. And he's awesome. His name's Cameron. Cameron, can you, oh, he ran away. Cameron, this is for you. He's played t percussion in the back. He played toms. He's probably getting ready for the band concert. Um, I also had a wonderful, I'm the orchestra teacher at Yorktown as well as Williamsburg. And we have a wonderful drum set player and percussionist at Yorktown. Nan, would you give us a wave? Thank you so much for playing with us. There's Cameron. And one last person I absolutely must thank is Lexi Rowland. She was the one who was communicating with parents and helping organize students. She was our manager and tambourine player today. She can do it all. So thank you so much, Lexi, for all your hard work. We have one more piece for you, and it's really fun. I hope you enjoy. This is Katy Perry's Firework.
I'm not planning to talk a lot, but I want to say something briefly about the composer of the first piece, Robert W. Smith. Uh, Mr. Smith passed away in September unexpectedly uh, at the age of 67. He was a remarkable uh, composer, conductor, and clinician. Uh, and although he spent most of his life in Alabama, he had deep ties to uh, the Commonwealth of Virginia and to the bands here in Northern Virginia. Uh, so much so that um, if you are one of the families with uh, a child in District Band, you're going to get to hear this piece again next weekend. Um, this piece is dedicated to his memory and in thanksgiving for all of the work that he contributed to young bands over his lifetime.
The next two pieces are by two young composers. Kate Nishimura is a Canadian composer who uh, has a second career going in environmental therapy, and beneath the canopy uh, is a musical depiction of being in a forest. Um, Gerard Hall is a fantastic young composer who I found, whether it's a toboggan race or attempting to uh, depict Ocean's Eleven, is really good at finding fun themes for uh, students to play with, and uh, Tripwire is about exactly what it sounds like, a laser tripwire that you're trying to get, out, get around. I hope you enjoy these two pieces.
This has been an amazing group to work with, and I would just like to thank all of the parents for lending your children to me for the last few evenings.
Wow, just wow. What a beautiful job. I would now like to ask all the directors and managers and accompanists to please come on stage for the final recognition. Thank you all, and this concludes our performance, and have a great evening. Thank you.